Hello. Um, Pastor Sarah uh, did tell me I had um, all 30 minutes to uh, take up uh, here, so uh, I, I, I've got lots of pages here. Yeah. Um, welcome this wonderful, beautiful Wednesday evening. Sun is shining, so lovely. My heart is full of joy and gratitude as we gather tonight to celebrate the diversity of God's world, including our LGBTQIA2S plus family and friends. In a world filled with differences and divisions, it's essential for us to remember that we are all connected. We are CLC together. Let's look around the room tonight and first of all, notice our differences. We see faces of different colors, friends of different socioeconomic groups, families with one parent or two parents. Some of us grew up experiencing our faith formation in uh, different churches or perhaps in no church at all. Some of us are blessed to speak multiple languages. Some of us have, or we all have different hobbies, such as woodworking, or fishing, or quilting, or maybe skiing. We are CLC. We are a beautiful tapestry of diversity that allows us to glimpse God's creative genius. She crafted each one of us with intention and purpose, and our God did not make any mistakes. Our differences and the unique paths that we follow are what makes each of us shine our light uniquely as part of God's whole creation. I was just watching a video shared by AARP, some of you know about this group, um, uh, about a 91-year-old man. His path through life included marriage, raising a family, and ultimately divorcing about 30 years ago. During COVID, he was sorting through pictures, his photo album and stuff from his youth, and he came across precious memories of his first love, his male best friend. The emotions he experienced while looking at those pictures stirred his heart all these years later and at 88 years old, he came out of the closet, finally admitting to himself and to his family that he is gay. Can you imagine? He is happier now that he is living his true authentic life than he has ever been before. This is how it is with some of our closest family and friends when they come to the realization that they are on a different path than they had planned, and they start living their authentic and God-given life, their light shines brighter and brighter. Our family paths twist and turn in unexpected ways. We may be blessed with an unexpected child, or we may lose one that we didn't get to love for long enough. We start by planning that straightforward career path, only to discover that the goals we thought we wanted were not right for us after all, and turning another direction becomes the best option. In our family, childhood dreams of a princess marrying a prince are coming true. Well, almost. In a little adjustment to our path, the very brightest light is, showing, is shining on two lovely young ladies who have discovered a deeper love for each other than either of them ever expected. The one constant entwined in our diverse paths and beings is that God's love for us surpasses everything. God walks with us as we navigate our own twisting, winding road. God allows us to use our minds and our hearts and our souls 
to explore the amazing possibilities around us, a world filled with diversity in so many ways. Do you know there are eight billion people on the planet today? And each of us is unique. As humans have used their God-given talents to learn about human beings, science has shown that gender is bimodal, operating on a continuum rather than binary. This concept is being protested because it does not fit with traditional uh, understandings of gender. Well, you know what? Many other scientific claims have changed over time. In the 1600s, Galileo proposed that the Earth revolved around the sun, along with a bunch of other planets. Galileo was ostracized from the church for his scientific theories that went against the Bible. Passages in the Bible were used as proof that the sun revolved around the earth. His books were banned. Hmm, does that sound familiar? And he spent the rest of his life on house arrest. It wasn't until 1992 that Pope John Paul II apologized for the actions of the church against the science that Galileo presented. Our understanding of the world around us changes every year as we learn new things. Our Bible isn't wrong, but it was not meant to be a scientific journal. Using it as one is our own failing. Our understanding of the gender spectrum is still incomplete. However, the capacity of our hearts to have deeply honored commitments and profound love for people of all races, ethnicities, cultures, and yes, all genders, is simply amazing and God-inspired. If God loves all, so can we. Imagine a world where we truly embrace the paths and the beauty of LGBTQIA 2S plus individuals and celebrate their contributions to our communities and our congregations. Imagine a world where we come together, not despite our differences, but because of them, to learn from them. It is in the celebration of our diversity that we truly honor the God who created us. Just as a kaleidoscope is filled with different shapes and colors that come together to, to form a magnificent pattern, so too do we, as God's diverse children, create a masterpiece when we unite. But celebrating diversity is not merely a passive act. We can't just sit back and say, yes, it's fine, I love everyone, and they are all welcome here. It requires intentional effort and a willingness to step out of our comfort zones. We must be willing to listen to each other's stories, like Jana's and Will's and all the others whom we are praying for tonight to learn from each other, and to appreciate the experiences of our neighbors, family, and friends. We must be committed to standing against injustice, discrimination, and prejudice in all its forms, including both homophobia and transphobia. In doing so, we follow the example of Jesus Christ, who walked this earth as the ultimate embodiment of love, and acceptance. Jesus reached out to the marginalized, the outcasts, the oppressed, breaking down the walls that society has built. He taught us to love our neighbors as ourselves, regardless of their sexual orientation or gender identity. This year at CLC, we will be finding ways to learn about other people's experiences. 
I encourage you to take the opportunities that we're gonna to present to listen and to learn. As our Lenten experiences taught us this year, asking questions and listening has never been more important. Remember, we are one. CLC is one in our shared humanity, one in our common journey, and one in our love for the Creator who makes all our lights shine. Let us work together to make Christ Lutheran our faith home filled with the Holy Spirit who motivates us to celebrate each other, breaking down barriers, and building a world where all are valued and cherished. Let's make our light shine so brightly that others can see their way out of the dark. May God bless you abundantly and let all the children of God know that they are loved. Amen.